Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Chelsea. I collect cute things, I make cute things, I sell cute things, I just really like cute things. Today's video is studio vlog number 19. In this studio vlog, I received the pins for my Kickstarter and I basically spent the whole entire week packaging up those orders. I've shown you how I packaged them, um, the packaging that I've used. Um, I don't really know what else, that's pretty much it. It's pretty much consumed my whole week, but I thought that it would be a fun video to take you along with me take you along take you along packing i don't know um yeah we packed up some orders we got the pins they've turned out amazing so the rest of the pins after all of those orders have now gone out um will be on my etsy store my next shop update in around about a couple weeks time so stay tuned for that i don't have a lot of a grays left i do have quite a few b's and quite a few c's i've been really 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 kind of brutal when grading them so even if there's just like one little millimeter of a spec on it it's become a b grade so it's going to mean that there's some cheaper pins available on my etsy um when that shop update happens obviously i'll keep you updated on that um but yeah just wanted to give you a heads up that these will be coming on my etsy the washi tape will also be on my etsy as well as a few stickers um i do have a few left not very many at all i can't believe how many like um pins and stuff went out on these orders honestly like over 100 i think i think it was over 100 pins that we sold through the kickstarter which is absolutely amazing so yeah i just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who obviously pre-ordered through the kickstarter was making these pins would have been impossible without you and yeah hopefully you are all enjoying your packages i know some people have already received them at the time that i'm even filming this intro so yeah i can't wait to see all of your pictures and everything like that so be sure to send me send me those on instagram um but yeah i'm just gonna get straight on into the studio vlog and flash you back to around about last week when i first received those pins okay this is the moment i've been waiting for for months my pins have just arrived they've come all taped up in this nice big yellow box and i'm just about to open them up i thought i would just come upstairs and do it on camera for you because let's share this moment together i'm so excited i'm also a little bit nervous um i've seen photos of them and they all look great so fingers crossed that they are just as i have hoped i am so excited to open up this package so yeah let's do it they weren't actually supposed to be arriving until tomorrow so everywhere's a mess but i cannot hold on any longer like i have to get into these Right, let me just get this out a second. Oh, I can see pig, I can see pig. Oh my goodness. Right, let me do one by one. Let me do one by one. I have come all individually in these little bags. So I'll be using these on my shop for charms and stuff. Oh, Paquette boy. Oh, look at him. Oh, I'm so happy. So this one here is already going to be mine. I always keep the first pin that I unbag of like all of my pins. Oh, he fills with joy already. I absolutely love that. I cannot wait for people to receive them. Who's next? Okay, pig. He's so cute, I could actually cry. This one here is Pig and Baguette Boy together. Wow. This one here might just be my most favorite pin I've ever made. <laughs> oh my goodness, that has turned out perfect. I'm actually really shocked. Like I know I've worked with these people before, but that has turned out even be even better than I'd hoped. I need to change this angle. This is not a good angle. So here's the one that I seen a second ago. Oh my god, this is Pig with the Whisk. Okay. Pig with the Whisk. This one here was my most popular pin um, from the Kickstarter. So I ordered more of this one. Oh. 
Wow. Oh, the gold works so well. Look at that. Look. Oh. And there it is in size comparison with the other pig one. This one here, I think, is the biggest pin. Oh, that was looking good. Okay, this one here is a pig with the hole to get. Oh, yeah, she's a nice size. Let's see. So, this is also my first time at screen printing the pins as well. But as I can see here, like it's added the. What is that? There's a little bit of dirt on. Um, it's got a little fleck in this one, um, but that's fine because I'm going to keep this one anyway. Um, yeah, the screen printing has worked out really, really well to add the cheeks on, but here's this one. That. So that one there is quite a bit chunkier than like the rest, do you know what I mean? Like it just feels a lot bigger. Very, very pleased with that one as well. Again, all the same colourway as the others. Oh, love them. Look at this bag full of pins. So cute. And then the final pin. This one here was my last Kickstarter goal. Wow. I can't believe this. That has turned out amazing. Actually amazing. Now the blue colour I used on this was the exact same blue colour that I used on my UFO pin. Don't know if anyone remembers it, like my shrimp UFO pin from the last ones I did. I am actually in shock. So here's the size difference. I think that one there might actually be the biggest. Um, for the baker's gonna bake pin and the baguette pin. That's the size difference. Oh no, they're kind of about the same. I'm in actual shock. Like I feel like I'm just gonna sit here in absolute shock now. Um, so yeah, next step is to grade them all and start putting them on the backing cards. the next day again now and all of my pins are now graded so i've got the baguette boys and i've also got pig with the full baguette boy these all a grades in here ready you know to be packaged up for the kickstarter orders then this box here is the ones like the other three pins so i've got pig with the whisk i've got pig with like the big baguette and then i've got the golden ones down there as well the baker's going to bake down there and then this box here which is a crazy big box are all my b's and c grades so i've been really really brutal with them even if they have like one little tiny mark on it they've become a b grade and these here are going to go straight onto my etsy shop once i've got all of the kickstarter orders out so yeah that one there's a b grade the way that i'm telling is just i put a little b down there with a posca paint pen just in white so it's a little bit more subtle and then i've also got you know c grades in there as well as you can see so all of the pens all in all have turned out really really nicely i have had a few problems with um the baker's gonna bake design it just because a few have actually come out um a little bit mismatched in color like some of the ears and stuff are different colors on the pig um but they're going to be remade and luckily i have like around about five more than i need like of a grades for the kickstarter rewards anyway so it's not a massive 
um, deal, but it's around about half the pins came out a little bit mismatched. But yeah, really, really love them. The quality of them is so nice. And I kind of really like this box, like completely full of these. Um, over here, I have stickers I've been prepping for the Kickstarter rewards. I have obviously used some of them already, but these here are going on the outside packaging of the like boxes and stuff. I'll show you them on, the but I've made them out of like a matte vinyl. I really, really like them. Um, but yeah, look at those. So I need to get making a few more of these because I want to get out a few of the Kickstarter rewards today, probably just the single pin ones, just because I'll be able to get them out the quickest. Then I can really set my focus on doing the big orders as well and work in backer order. I just would rather get quite a few orders and like backers kind of rewards out today and see where we get to, see how many we can get done. So yeah, let's go. So this is the fast like pin orders that are going out. Just wanted to show you the packaging quickly, run you through it. So I've just used a recycled craft box with the pink shredded tissue paper inside. I've then got the pin all packaged up there. Obviously all my pins are usually packaged in with the metal pin backs as well as the rubber ones, just because I like to have the choice when, you know, it comes to me actually using pins. So I've always put those in there. I then got the freebie um, vinyl sticker. So I got these made, especially for the project. They feel so nice and I'm very happy with those. So all of these um, boxes here just have a single um, pig with a whisk in. This one here does have some washi tape in and there was another one um, as well as a couple more, but I intended to pack five a second ago, but I only made four boxes. Anyway, so each of these um, packages do have the thank you cards in. So I got these like thank you cards um, printed via Vistaprint just in a really nice kind of glossy paper. Just really like these. I think they're just quite a nice little touch. Um, I just got this graphic made on the front because I thought it would be fun just to, you know, put up on a wall or something. And then I've got a little thank you note on the backs. I'll just cover that up there because I have put a little code for people to use on my Etsy store um, until, you know, about three months time, which is really fun. Um, I'll just cover that up because obviously that's for the Kickstarter pledges only. And I've just written a handwritten note on there. So this one here's for Abigail. I also have um holly sarah caitlin and shanti for this lot so thank you so much to those yours is the first you know one of the first of five pin orders to go out i do have some personal things to take to the post office in a second so i can only fit a few boxes in with me because i'm just going to walk into town um and then i'm going to come home and just carry on packing the evening away and just keep on packing pretty much i think it's going to take me a couple of days now um just to get all of those um kickstarter pledges out asap i think i will have to change around the packaging when it comes to tote bags and stuff because obviously they won't fit in these bags um so i'll definitely keep you updated with what i do on those i do have some a4 size boxes these ones here are a6 um would be handy if i had some a5 but i don't i've got a4 or a6 um but yeah very happy with how these are looking i think it's gonna look so cute with the little thank you notes in there and basically the plan is to just seal these up with the um you know, square vinyl stickers. I'll obviously show you that in a second. Put them in the um, mailers, which are pink. Mm. Those are actually recyclable. Like if you take them to the um, like supermarket here in the UK, you can kind of take the um, bags and stuff, like your carrier bags to be recycled um, at supermarkets, like Tesco, Sainsbury's, that sort of stuff. And they can be, you know, put in the same thing as those because they are made out of the exact same material as bread bags are. So there is a recyclable option there. Um, but yeah, just I really like them so I'm just gonna package up those in there and then just stick the shipping labels on and then they'll be ready to go so let's get cracking and finish off these ones
Hello everyone, it's now um, Sunday morning actually and I've come in to do a little bit more work because we're working on the kickstart orders as you would have seen throughout this vlog already. Um, I got a ton out over the past couple of days. I think I literally have like eight left which is crazy like honestly the pile was so high over there and i had to call my parents to come and give me a lift to the post office because i had so many um parcels to take um i've come in this morning just to kind of really catch up with those last eight i'm really prioritizing international ones because of the new vat changes coming on um the first of july i'm not sure if it's going to impact um the way like i type up and stuff for us orders but we can only see i don't know if i'm gonna have to do that online I don't know so um i know definitely eu ones so the eu ones definitely went out on friday like every single last one of them i made sure to prioritize that and then yeah the last of the us ones are going out tomorrow i am going to be trying i think it's like four us or and canada and then four uk ones that i have left to do but i need to paint these pigs because i forgot with the everything everything bundle that i put pigs in with those and um yeah i have six little pigs all lined up ready to be painted um and that's the last thing that i need to like get made for those so i'm going to get those sorted and hopefully all those orders will go out tomorrow morning and we'll get them all done i'm surrounded in mess like i look also like i've slept in the jungle for about <laughs> a week but ignore that this is just what's happened because i've just been focusing all my time all my effort into getting all these packages just perfect and to the best of my ability i literally have like piles of bags down there ready to go in the everything everything bundles and boxes that things didn't fit in so with my tote bags they didn't actually fit in the boxes that i said about um so i'm having to put them through as a parcel which if you didn't know if you send a parcel internationally it's about four times the price also about four times the price that i've charged for shipping um a mistake on my behalf so i'm just gonna have to suck up and pay it which what well, well it happens um so yeah i think all in all with the budget of the kickstarter i've overspent the whole amount that i got on the kickstarter I've literally spent it all and more um but that's fine hopefully we can make up some profits with selling the rest of the pins on etsy i do have like um a 50 50 split of kind of a grades and then like b to c grades so i don't have that many a grades left over i do have i probably hit around about 10 after like all the kickstarter rewards have gone out so yeah they'll be on my etsy shop just as soon as i figure out the vat thing um i'm probably just going to put a pause on international whilst i can get that all set up because i think i'm just going to do royal mail click and drop because you can't go in the post office to do it anymore if you're selling through etsy with the ioss number or something i don't know you can't do it through going into the post office and that's usually how i do it um just because i have a little family run local post office to me and they are amazing and i like to give them kind of my business and i trust them like fully with my parcels they were actually rated like the best post office in the whole of the uk which is amazing and they've had loads of awards and stuff they're so so nice um and i've been going there for like longer than i've had this youtube channel um i don't know why i'm going off on a tangent about post office now but yeah basically i'm just gonna list those extra pins onto my shop i should stop talking now and get actually get these pigs painted because i'm going to be out of the office for a couple of days so i won't be filming on here this might be the last day that i've put on the studio vlog actually um but yeah i wanted to show you how i package up the two bags so individually i've put the um tote bags in white tissue paper and then put like a little sticker on them hopefully i'll be giving you an overlay because to be honest my camera's been really overexposed this morning don't know why i really needed a new one but it's not in the budget afraid so just gonna have to save for that over the next couple of months there's one that's come back in stock um on the shop that i was gonna buy it from and i just like ugh, haven't budgeted for it so it's, it's just gonna have to wait a little bit longer it's not completely necessary but i would like to upgrade my equipment what can you do what can you do anyway i'm gonna go and take these pigs
Okay, so the pigs are all painted. I've actually just packaged them up in the bags that the pins originally came in. I always end up doing this when I, you know, make enamel pins. Not that I've done it that many times before, twice before. Um, but yeah, so the pins actually come in these from the manufacturer. I take them all out with that and then repackage them. And instead of wasting that packaging, I like to just use them for my handmade charms. They're not the bags that I would choose, you know, with like these red strips and stuff on, but um, it is what we've got. So yeah, the pigs are all done now. And I've just got a couple of forget ones there as well, which people added on to their order. So those are ready to go. I'm now going to spend the rest of the evening just packing up those orders, like I said. So I might just do a bit of time lapse um, here now and finish this video off tomorrow morning. So I hope you've enjoyed like coming along with me on the journey of packing up these kickstart orders i'll show you the packages finally when they're done i think i'm gonna have to pack them up in some gold spotty mailers because i don't have any pink ones left which is really annoying um but gold spotty ones are cute enough anyway and i think it's just yeah just something a little bit different so yeah there they are and here i am it is the next morning now so it is monday and i am just about to get rid of these parcels the last few remaining ones i say get rid i'm gonna be taking them to ship so i did package them in the gold um mailers i have yeah i might as well just reach over and show you um these gold mailers right here so these ones here are the ones with the tote bags in um and then you know a few other bits i did end up using some compostable mailers from no issue i had a few of those as well as some pink ones which i had left i didn't realize i'd run out but then i found these ones in my christmas package and i thought these would be really nice for those as well so i just used up these these ones are recyclable as well so that's always fun um but yeah very happy with how they turned out i think that they're super cute the only downfall is that they're going to cost me an absolute fortune to send it's around about four times the price that i charged just because they end up so chunky um but what can you do what can you do i did finish my nails off like i said i was also going to do so i have gone with short green nails because i just had long purple ones for so long and i'm going to be out of the office when this video goes goes up so yeah very happy with that these are just going to work better with what i'm actually doing in real life so short green nails and they're very nice so that is going to be the end of this studio vlog i hope you have enjoyed it and enjoyed coming along the journey of packing up these orders and watching me unbox my pins thank you so much for joining me today and i'll see you very soon for another video bye